Welcome to lecture 22, exercise 3. The challenge is to write a program that generates a random number between 1 and 10. Ask a user to guess the random number, then display the random number and a message indicating whether the user's guess was too high, too low, or correct. There's a hint for this challenge and it's that you can create a random number that is at least min but less than max using the following statements. So don't worry about the syntax and what this means right now. Throughout the rest of the sections in this whole course, you will learn exactly what this means. But for now, this is just a, a little thing that you can copy and paste to use to generate a random number. So you're gonna first say this one statement, random random generator equals new random with a semicolon. And then int random number equals the random generator dot next and then you have min max so that's what the rule was saying it's saying that it will generate a random number that is at least min so if i type in one it will at least be one it will go up to one and less than max so if i type in 11 it will not include 11 but it will be less than 11 so that would be one to ten that's what we want so we want one and ten that will I mean one and eleven that will generate a random number between 1 and 10 by putting in min as 1 and max as 11. So if you want to try this on your own, it will be a little challenging getting the, gen the generator working and trying to understand that. But if you want to try on your own, um, go ahead and pause the video now and go ahead and try. If not, I'm going to solve it now. So the first thing we need to do is actually generate the random number. So I'm going to just literally copy and paste this code right here. Remove that. Now for min and max, like I said, I'm going to put that 1 and the 10. I mean 11. So this generates the random number. To see that it's actually working, let's just go ahead and first before we solve it and just print to the console um, random number to see what happens. So the first time I run it, I get a 1. Second time I run it, I get a six. Third time I run it, I get a six again. Fourth time, I get a 10, a one, an eight. So as you can see, as I run it, I'm getting random numbers. So this little snippet of code is generating a random number between one and 11. So now that I have that, that's all I need. That's the hard part out of the way now. The next thing I have to do is basically ask the user to guess the random number. So I'm gonna say console.write line, guess the random number, and I'm gonna read in their number. So I'm gonna say int users guess equals int.parse console.read line. So now I have their guess stored. Then it says, um, then display the random number and a message indicating whether the user's guess was too high, too low, or correct. So I'm going to first display the, the random number to the console, and then after that I'll say if it was too high, too low, or correct using if statements. So I'll say console.write line, the random number was placeholder, plug in the random number that was generated automatically. Now I want to do the if statements to see if they were right or not. So I'm going to first say, if user's guess was less than the random number, I'm going to say, your guess was too low. Else if user's guess is was greater than the random number, your guess was too high and then else would be if they were correct because if it was too low it says too low if it was too high it was too high but the only thing that's even possibly left is if it's exactly correct meaning that the user's guess is equal to the random number because we covered the less than and we covered the greater than so there's no other thing that it can be so that's what the else says else is whatever is left over <clears throat> so the exact match is the only thing that is left over. So in this, I'll say, you are correct. So let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. So it says, guess the random number. Oh, I think it's six. Oh, 
Oh, wow. So I actually did guess it correct the first time, but the placeholder I messed up on. Oh, I didn't even realize that. I don't know why I used a plus there. I'm trying to use concatenation. I put a comma there. Ah, I, wow, I can't believe I got it correct the first time. That's pretty cool. Let's try it again. Uh, I'll say seven. So the random number was three. Your guess was too high, which is correct. Seven is greater than three. Let's run it again. Let's see. I want a four. The random number was one. Your guess was too high. I want to make sure everything works. We know the 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 correct one works because I got it right the first time. Um, three. Here we go. The random number was seven. Your guess was too low. So basically, we created a little guessing game here. Um, the only thing that's missing right now is that once you guess once, the game's over. It doesn't allow you to keep on guessing until you guess it correct. Um, the thing is, in the next section, which is called looping, that's where we'll actually learn how we can do that. Um, this is basically leading you on to learn and ask the question of how can I keep on playing this game over and over, except right now because I only can play it once. So in the next section, we'll learn about looping and how that makes that possible, basically. Um, but if you got this on your own, that's an awesome job. Congratulations. Um, if not, don't worry about it. We'll be practicing everything. If statements do not go away, they are the most common types of statements, and we'll be using them in every single section from here on till the end of the course. So do not worry. Um, we'll be practicing them all the time.